Good morning, Dos Pueblos. I'm Brett. And filling in for Carly, I'm Colleen. TGIF, because DP News starts now. There will be no school this Monday the 11th because of Veterans Day. Veterans Day marks the end of the First World War and is a time to honor all veterans who have served to defend our country and way of life. Major hostilities of World War I were formally ended at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918 when the armistice with Germany went into effect. School will be back in session on Tuesday the 12th, so enjoy your three-day weekend while honoring those who serve. The Spoon River Project will be having their first show tonight at 7 p.m. in the EPAC. For those of you who missed yesterday's sneak peeks, let me tell you that the show is fantastic and super engaging, and it will be an event that you won't forget for a long time. The audience is part of the show because everyone is on stage together. This is one show you won't soon forget. You can purchase your tickets from the EPAC box office from 3 to 5 p.m. after school or a half hour before showtime. It will be performed at 2 and 7 again tomorrow, as well as showtimes next weekend. Tickets are $12 for adults and $8 for students with their IDs. The deadline for the submission of the Health Challenge exam applications is today at 3 p.m. If you want to take the exam, make sure your application has been submitted to Mr. Woodard's office. Today in the Greek, there will be a cakewalk. Come have fun with your friends and win delicious treats. All you have to do is walk in circles. That's it. So come on out. Just walk in circles. Get a cake. The Camp Food Drive starts next Tuesday and ends on the 26th of November. Help fill the food bank by bringing in your canned food to help local families. Thousands of Santa Barbara families struggled during the fall celebrations to feed their families, and you can make a difference. Last year, San Marcos boasted the highest contribu contributions to the food bank, and we need to take that title back. So bring in your cans or non-perishable foods starting next week. Auditions for the spring musical Mary Poppins are on November 12th and 13th from 3 to 6 p.m. in the EPAC. They're especially looking for men and parkour athletes or gymnasts. That's right, they need free running males who want to have some fun on stage. Audition instructions are online at dptheatercompany.org. In honor of Sam Shapiro, the Anime Club will be showing his favorite movie, Blue Steel Arpeggio, today in H5 at lunch. Head over and hang with his beloved friends as they remember fond memories of Sam. The Santa Barbara International Marathon is this Saturday, November 9th. We as a school are hosting two water stations. If you're interested in getting community service in a fun way for cheering the runners on and giving them energy drinks and water, stop by for the packet in the Career Center. Baby I deadlines for the yearbook have been extended. Speaking of the yearbook, if you haven't yet bought yours... Wow, oh, I can't believe how great our book is. We have both incredible stories and amazing photography. Could you imagine if we had to choose between incredible photography or amazing stories? That'd be like having to choose between cookies or cream. And is better. Yeah, we're lucky to have both incredible photography and amazing stories. The Dos Pueblos yearbook has earned a gold crown from Columbia University for its journalistic coverage, strong design, great photography, and amazing stories. In 2013, it was named a best of show at the National Scholastic Press Association Convention. The 2013 book earned the title of best design to spread and has been featured in the Jostens Lookbook for the past five years. The 2014 book promises to be the best book yet, including pictures that come to life through Erasmus. Buy yours today before it's too late, online at dpyearbook.org or in the business office. Make sure to get your yearbook, people. We are now one-fourth of the way to the goal for the Australian host families. There are only 30 spaces left, and the deadline for signing up if you want an Australian exchange student is November 22nd, so get on it. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. Happy weekend, and we'll smell you later, DP. I'm Colleen. And I'm Brett. Here's Heather with your sports news. Hey DP, I'm Heather with sports. Girls Tennis lost a tough battle yesterday against the number two school in Division I of California, University of Irvine High. Their season has come to an end with a record of 7-1 and one in league and 10-3 and three overall, finishing second in league right behind Santa Barbara. Great season, girls. 
Boys Water Polo defeated Ventura yesterday, 11-3, with Blake Parrish scoring seven goals. They finished first in league undefeated, and CIF starts for them next week. JV won 11-10 in overtime with Dylan Elliott scoring six, Kellen Reynolds with four, and Ben Cable with one. Good job, boys. Today, the Boys Water Polo team has a game against Royal School in our pool. Football is headed off to, to Buena for their last game of the season. Currently 2-1 in league, tied in second with Buena. A win tonight would put them in a strong second behind Ventura for Channel League.